Hello friends, welcome. In the previous video we worked with the anonymous component. In this video I'm going to create the layout with component and show you the scope slots. If you go to the Laravel documentation in the components, here we have the scope slots. So this is the component and we call X alert. Also we add here the X slot with name title. And here we added the text in the blade now in the component, which is alert here, the alert blade PHP inside the components. Here we display the server error, which is inside this title variable, which is this X slot name title. So this name is rendered here as a variable and anything between the X alert now after this uh, slot is going to display inside the default one. This is the default slot. Uh, this is the slot title which is going to display inside here. I'm going to create the blade mine layout for the or project with component. In this project, we have the layout in this app blade PHP. So let's go in the components and create a new component. Now you can create also the class component, but it's not a problem. It's the same. So let's, I'm going to name it mine uh, layout. Okay, and in here I'm going to copy what we have in this layout, select all, copy, place in this mine blade now. And we need to make some changes first. Here we don't need to say yield content, but display the slot, which means anything we put in, in between the mine layout is going to render here. So this slot, this is the default one. And let's go and use now this one. So in the post index, here we have this extends up, which means we extend the up blade, but let's remove now this one and say, and use the mine layout component as a layout. So X, X, uh, sorry, X and mine dash layout which is the name and now we need to close here and put between the this component or logic or text okay and also we need to remove this end section is it it is not necessary so let's save it and if i come here and refresh nothing happened everything is work properly we just change the layout from this app to this mine layout. Now, if we want to add also the slot here for the, here we have example for the title, but I'm going to add for the header. So maybe here we have a navigation. Let's remove that. And I'm going to say X dash slot, and I'm going to name it header. And now in between here, I'm going to add just a text to say navigation right now, but you can put the navigation here. And if I save, if we navigate here and refresh, nothing happened. We don't see that because we need to uh, add in the blade component. So in our component, which is mine layout, we need to add that. So we name it X slot and the name is header. Okay, let's, I'm going to add a div here with the class max width to be a 6XL, MX auto, and I'm going to add margin bottom to be 8. And here I'm going to display the slot title so dollar sign 
title. Now anything we put in between this X slot header is going to, uh, sorry, not title, but header is going to display in here. Okay. If I save and go and refresh in our browser, we can see now we have the navigation up here. If we say something else here, so header with slot, refresh, and we see navigation with slot. Okay, now we can add as many as we want. Uh, so let's add also one more for the footer. And let's say x slot colon footer. Now this colon is from uh, Laravel 9. If you have Laravel 8, you need to say name and footer. But in the Laravel 9, is this more useful? Just colon and the name x slot footer. And here is going to be the footer. So I'm going to add a div with a class let's say div here not dog div with class to be margin top 12 and i'm going to say footer okay let's save it and come here and refresh we don't see that because in the here also we need to display that okay and i'm going to display after the slot default slot and let's say here div with class max with 6 excel and max auto you can add what we want but sorry mx auto and here we need to display the footer okay if i refresh okay so here we have the footer the navigation and the body of the content now that's it how we can use slot scope slot and how we can create the layout with component Hope you enjoy and see you in the next video friends. All the best.